we have considerable experience in specifying the complete power system required to meet individual facility applications. Many facilities have a primary power source, usually the utility grid, but sometimes a renewable energy source such as wind or solar, or a mobile or permanent generator set. Many facilities equipped with a standby generator system use docking stations when the primary power goes offline. Should both the utility power and standby power go offline, a portable generator set quickly connects via an externally mounted input docking station. The docking station is mounted on an outside wall near the generator and utility input. Input docking stations are equipped with female connectors. Quick connect cables are used to connect a portable generator to the docking station. Docking stations are also designed for providing output power with male connectors. During generator service, a portable load bank can be connected to the generator via an output docking station. Easy connect cable ends are used for a quick, safe connection. Output cables have male ends, while input cables are female. Male cable connector ends are used to plug into female outlet connectors fitted on output docking stations. A facility's loads are usually connected to a distribution panel. The utility power is connected through an automatic transfer switch, or ATS, with power from the utility received via a meter box. Docking stations should be used in conjunction with bypass isolator switches to ensure different input and output power sources cannot be simultaneously connected. Permanent standby generators are often connected to the ATS via a bypass isolator switch. Bypass switches are available to switch single, two, or three sources to enable the isolated switching of various outputs and inputs within the system. When a permanent set is being load tested, it can be isolated from the transfer switch and connected directly to a portable load bank. When a facility is equipped with a permanent standby generator system, normal mode is for the utility to supply the facility loads. The bypass isolator switch will be in the position connecting the permanent generator to the ATS. When the utility goes offline, the permanent generator runs up to speed and supplies the facility load via the automatic transfer switch. Should the permanent standby generator fail while the utility is still offline, the bypass switch can be switched to another isolated position for the facility load to be connected to another power source such as a portable generator. Selecting the right docking stations and bypass isolators is an important decision when designing a generator system. It is important that supplies such as the utility are isolated when service is being undertaken on a standby generator system. It is also important for critical installations such as hospitals to have portable power connected when conditions result in widespread utility outages. A reliable and versatile standby generator system relies on the selection of many components. We have considerable experience in helping you select the best mix of components to meet your individual needs.